series of learning data structure we are going to learn all the data structures and their implementation in python so first comes first what are data structures we know about data right what is data we are studying since childhood these are raw facts and figures data nowadays is everywhere in almost every application we are using the data let's see some common scenarios where we use data so uh, let's consider this example you must have seen uh, if you just type some initial letters or whatever you are going to find google auto completes that search right and it it happens very quickly as soon as you start typing you you'll start seeing the results as well so more specifically here we need to think how we can store that data in memory so that user will just type initial letters and google auto suggest its completion quickly let's consider one more example we uh, have text and word processor and we want to do a text search now if you have seen as soon as we uh, try to search a text we immediately get the result we get very fast so again my question is more specifically how to store that data in memory so that user can search and get results faster because scanning a whole document again and again would result in a slower search so how in word processor text search works another example you must have seen undo redo operation in word processors right so it is also a form of data to have the previous snapshots uh, forward snapshots in memory again question comes how to store previous and next snapshot in memory so that as soon as user clicks on undo or redo we present user with the same state another example where we have data is in file organization so file organization what is it uh, we have directories inside the directories we have files and sub directories so this is completely a structure that we need to store in memory uh, to quickly retrieve our directories and files again the question comes how to store this in memory next example to find mutual friends on facebook now this is very common functionality right many times we want to see the mutual friends and we get the result very fast again the question is how to store users in memory so every time i am saying two things right how to store your data in memory so that you can quickly get your result right how to store so that quickly you get the result so this is what we are going to learn under data structures the different type of data structures but formally if i if i ask what is a data structure it is simply organization of your data so that you can have efficient access and modification of your data now there are different types of data structures you must have heard some out of it and if you have not heard of it we are going to complete those uh, and the implementation in our in this series so some examples are arrays linked list stack queue tree graph and there are more now see in any data structure whether it be your arrays or linked list whatever there are some common operations that we need to do on on any data structure in general sometimes we need to access any element right like in array you want to access the third element or you may want to insert new data you may want to delete that data or insert something in your data and and one very common operation is to sort your data so five operations always consider whenever you are learning any new data structure just see how we can do these five operations that will 
complete your data structure understanding completely what are those accessing inserting deleting finding your data or sort your data so always whenever you are reading any new data structure just see how these five operations can be done and that that will make your understanding of data structure complete but that question arises is like why do we need so many data structures we have arrays we have linked lists why why just not a single data structure is sufficient so every data structure has some merits and some demerits so some data structure fits at one place and it may not fit at the other place so that's why we need so many data structure goodness of any data structure read the second point goodness of any data structure depends upon how fast and with complete memory efficiency required operation can be done right so the the data structure would be considered good if you can do your work efficiently in terms of time and space in memory one more thing that you need to understand is the two types of data structures there's division uh, one is called linear and another is called non linear now linear data structures is like having only one previous and one next element if you are familiar with arrays or linked lists these are called a uh, linear data structure there's only one element behind and there's only one element forward for every element that you see right uh, in non linear structures Uh, non-linear data structure data structures where elements are not arranged linearly like trees uh, if you have you must have seen it somewhere it's the hierarchical structure so trees and graphs are called non-linear as the data is not arranged sequentially there's there could be more than one elements after the element right so this is non-linear data structures we are going to learn more about it in in further videos so this is the list of data structure which we are going to cover in this series it includes all your linear data structure non linear data structure some advanced data structures all thank you so much guys for tuning into logic keep if you like this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe